Hello? Yeah, now I can hear you. Hello? Hello, hello. Sorry, my, I was, my headphones are kind of messed up. Okay, okay, no problem, no problem. All right, finally, yeah, got it done. Yeah. <laughs> How are you? Fine, fine, fine. How are you doing, man? You seem um, like very busy, huh? Yeah, it's really hard to find time. <laughs> Sorry, man. No problem, no problem. All right. So, um, uh, how how's, how things are in uh, uh, forex? Are you doing it or uh, practicing? Even if you don't... yeah, I'm 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 practicing. Um, I'm kind of having a little bit of issues with because uh, like it seems like the forty minute doesn't close within forty minutes. Minutes does it? I'm I feel like it kind of closes in like different times. No, no, no. You 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 you're getting confused, really. Um, yeah. The 40 minute is just a name. It doesn't have anything to do with time at all. Okay. Okay. Don't count the, the, the you know, like the candle is closing exactly on a 40, every 40 minute. No. Yeah. Oh, okay. The candle can stay for hours and hours and not print the other candle, next candle. Ah, oh, okay. okay. That's where I got it mistaken. Yeah. These, these Renko candles are based on the brick size. The, it, unless, a certain amount of pippage <coughs> are there, the next candle will not be printed. If the price is ranging within 20 pips, up, down, up, down for six hours, you will yeah. see the same candle for the next six hours. Oh, I see. Because okay, it's not okay. crossing the limit of uh, the brick size. If, it's, if, if I set it for like 25, so after every 25 pip up or down, the new candle will print, right? Something like that. Okay. So that's the only way. Not the time. It's, they're not based on time that, you know, like regular candlestick, Japanese candlestick. A yeah. five card will print a candle every five minutes, regardless if it is, you know, the price stays the same exact pippage, but it will print a doji, right? Yes. So uh, the price starts where it ends, the same place. But th there will be a new candle, but here, no. I see. Gotcha. Yeah, because I'm. Tr it's hard for me to time like the uh, like a seven minute entry, because it's like uh, I'm sitting here waiting for it to close or like print a new candle, and then like I totally miss a good entry. Okay, now um, I'm gonna um, uh, with your permission. Okay, yeah. because it's your session, but uh, if you know, I'm I'm recording it right. But yes. I supposed to make a video for the public to understand. Um, not the public, but I mean for my subscribers, yes. <clears throat> right? Maybe I'll just uh, publicize it. I don't know uh, because you know to help out others. So uh, if you allow me, and then I will, you know, send this recording. You know, not you know all the recordings that you know I did the session with you is only specifically it is for you and nobody else have seen it. Uh -huh. So I, I can go ahead and then explain that scenario here, 40 minutes, and then how to use a seven minute properly. Yeah, that's, that's totally but, fine with me. But I, mean, I, I, I also need to make that video for other people. So if you allow me, I can send this video, this mm -hmm. recording to everyone so that I don't have to go back and then make another video. For <laughs> yeah, there's no problem. Um, I guess then... Um, just so that the video quality is really good, I'll just try not to talk so much. Is that? Yeah, I'll do no, that. No, no, no. You just talk. You know, just regular. You know, we're not doing anything wrong, right? Right. I'm teaching you. You're learning, and that's what I supposed to teach the others. You know, you have to be a hundred percent honest and clear. That's why. I mean, I I would have just you know simply sent this recording to everybody, everyone else. But since you paid for this and the recordings belongs to you, I have to ask you for, for your permission. That's what yeah. I'm asking. Yeah. That's right. no problem. We, you no. can go ahead and do that. Right. If you say no, then, you know, I'll, I'll just have to, you know, make another video for half an hour. No big deal. Right. <laughs> but I'm yeah. just thinking that, you know, maybe uh, it will benefit to everyone else. Yeah. Right? Okay. No problem. And, it, you know, it, you know, that's, you know, like somebody says that, you know, you, you give good out, then will the good back come, will come back to you. Right. <laughs> yeah. That's true. Right? So let's talk about that. Right. For example, um, a 40 minute chart, you know exactly that with the setting we have the 40 brick size and the 20, uh, I mean, sorry, uh, 40 time, you know, 40 minute time, you can, you know, name it cat, dog, whatever, but it doesn't mean anything. It just, you know, it's a name. It has nothing to do with the candle style or, or, or any, you know, 
setting or anything. The mm -hmm. brick size is the, what it matters. So we're going to use a 40 minute chart. For example, this one, I was making it right. And then you probably saw um, this one uh, lately I'm on a telegram. I'm just covering one pair because, you know, if I start covering a lot of pairs of people as it is, you know, they, well, you know, while they're learning, they get confused, right? And I spread out the focus all over the place and then not been able to concentrate on the concrete setups, right? So I, uh, you know, it's the same apply to everything, but I'm just, you know, uh, doing it like uh, Euro Aussie, uh, for example, uh, one pair. Once in a while, I just post uh, uh, other setups, but mostly I'm covering the Euro Aussie and step by step. So this is a chart I uh, showed here that, okay, this is, you know, goes up here, uh, one and then two uh, is going to come down here, right? So that's right. exactly what happened, right? Let me go back there. Okay, you see that? Yes. That's what happened. And doing so, uh, obviously, the idea is that, you know, if it's coming down here into this area, then we can have a trade here going down. If now the, the chart says, okay, if it is going up again, can you, uh, you see my uh, MT4, right? Yes, I can see. I'm going to make sure that you see it, right? So um, now it's going to go back up here, right? Right. Uh, if it goes back up here. Now, this the candle finishes. The, the 40 minute, no, the idea is that this is all the way in the, in the bottom and then maybe it's bouncing from here, 54.73. Mm -hmm. The event that we have, uh, the price goes up and down for uh, because of the event means the news, right? The fundies. Something happens, the news comes out, good or bad uh, or, you know, whatever, the price move accordingly. Uh, the you know uh, the price came out uh, uh, bad for Aussie. Aussie got weaker. This pair went up, right? And from there, there was a you know a little bit of good news. It came down again. Aussie got strong tonight. At I think it's ten thirty, ten or ten thirty. We have a red news for Aussie rate decision. That's a big news. And uh -huh. that's right, right. Now if it's uh, bad, then Aussie gonna get weaker, and then Euro Aussie will fly. And technically, this is supposed to happen. But let's say if the news comes out in the opposite direction and then it decides to come down here, would you see any long setup on a 20-minute chart? Obviously, no. So if we play by the rule, we cannot see a long setup at all. So mm -hmm. all the only option we will have is that if it's continue dropping, then the only thing you're going to see is a short setup all the short setup like for example right here you see this is a short setup this is the one i took today yeah okay because i said that okay it's gonna drop and it dropped here i i took this one and this one also from seven minute chart but i'll show you you know later on but this is the 20 minute later on i took also and uh, it's on the uh, telegram as well so here this is how this uh, market when when it makes the turn that it gives now it's bearish right so if the news comes out good for Aussie, Aussie gonna get it strong and this will continue dropping, right? And then right. maybe uh, uh, next levels uh, around this 23% line, you know, this is uh, uh, right here, or maybe all the way, right? So these are the factors. The, the main factor is the news. The second factor is the volume time, right? So uh, Aussie is an a Asian currency, right? And right mm -hmm. now we are into in in Asian session, right? For five o'clock right. starts. So after Aussie, that currency, uh, the news at 10 o'clock. Now from 10 o'clock, the most of the Asian session is already gone, right? So the effect will probably will come into the uh, European session and London session, right? The volume time. So we will see when uh, uh, the volume time comes, then where it is going. Now, if my chart, this chart, which I'm expecting, is good, and if, if that's supposed to happen, then what will happen? Where do we use seven-minute chart and how? Now, two, are, uh, two places where uh, we use the seven-minute chart, very, very important. Uh, the first place that we use is <clears throat> like this one. Uh, any harmonic pattern, any Elliott wave, uh, when I say that, okay, this might make a turn from here. So we are ready, to, you know, for the turn, right? 
we are ready for the turn. Turn hasn't happened yet, but we are getting ready ahead of time, planning mm -hmm. that, okay, mm -hmm. this is the possible turning point according to the harmonic pattern, according to the Elliott wave. This is, like I said, that possible, what the heck I wrote down there? Where's T? Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's see. Oops. And I messed it up more. Okay, that makes sense, right? All right, so yeah. possible girdle, this is a girdle, you know, it's like X, A, B, C, D, and you probably, do, do you remember the girdle pattern, the calculation or no? No. Okay, the girdle pattern is that uh, this point B actually, uh, th this is the, the, these numbering right now I have, let me show you uh, if I have, um, Okay, let me see if I can hold on just a minute now. Okay, so I can't even go from here. Okay, new share. Ah. Uh, kind of messed up here, man. How do I go? Oh, no. Huh? No, no, no. Don't worry, don't worry. I mean, you know. Okay. Um, okay. It's not that important. Gertlip. Okay, let me see if I, um, I, I should have it. I want to go to my desktop and I don't know how. Okay, so is it right now you're seeing my uh, MT4, right? Uh, yeah, right now I see it. Okay, so that's good. And what am I gonna do is that if I can, uh, shoot. Where is the desktop? Where the line of action go? Maybe when I'm into Zoom then I can control Okay, where about iPhone um, and no, I don't want to share that. Ah, oh, forget it. Um, you have those uh, Gertley and all those diagrams. The, the slides, yes. Right, and yeah. uh, let me just explain it to you. Um, I should have opened it before, uh, but uh, see, this is a, the you know this is a main move, right? So the starting point is this, and we call it X. So if this is X and this is A then uh, the B point, this is uh, uh, usually it's a uh, 61%, right? Uh, yeah. So the 61%, if it is at 61% and then it makes the turn in the opposite direction, so this is called point B, then the point C can be anywhere between this A and B, anywhere, right? But ideally it is around 23% line. So that's why I have it marked here. So okay. if this is point C, then 90% of the time, the price goes to point B at 68 78%. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that would be point C. <clears throat> so it, it, it is going to be like X, A, B, C, D. That's a, like a W, right? That's a that's a pattern. That's a girdle pattern. Uh, uh, after this, uh, you can go and, and uh, you know, watch those uh, <clears throat> diagram if, uh, you know, for the refreshment. Okay. But uh, so uh, now that also... The Elliott wave count. I have it Elliott wave. Elliott wave and har harmonic patterns are Elliott wave, basically, right? But mm -hmm. a lot of people uh, see that our, uh, Elliott waves are difficult or, or complicated. And then if you t try to, you know, explain the same thing in term of uh, harmonic pattern, they understand quickly. So uh, I use both methods, right? Whoever understand whatever, and some understand both. So this is wave three, four, five. And now, and after it's wave five, uh, the corrections comes in three waves, uh, three waves like one and two and three, and that like uh, uh, wave one, two, three, or A, B, C correction. So an Elliott wave counting, I have it here, right? But that's what it is. 
Now, if I'm expecting this and the news comes out and then Ozzy is on the right hand side. So news comes out bad. Ozzy going to get weaker, right? So the right hand side currency gets weaker, then the pair goes up. Right? That's rule of thumb. So this pair is supposed to go up after the news. Mm -hmm. Right? So right. the first thing will happen here, what? What will happen? The 40 minute candle complete, right? How do we know when it is going to complete? When the next candle opens up. One candle closed, the other one opens, right? Yes. So now when you put this cross here on any candle, it gives you the time in the bottom that when this candle opened up. You understand? Mm -hmm. Okay. When the reversal candle happened here, and then after that, that's what we need, right? Right. And as soon as that reversal candle closes, the new candle will open? The blue one? Yes. The, and, the black and blue, right? Or white and blue? You know, that would be the reversal candle. Uh -huh. After that will be like here. You see this one here? It's a reversal. Let me open up a little bit. Okay. See? Here, you see what happened here? Yeah. White candle. And then when it shrinks, that it, the color does you know, don't show up, right? It just, you know, it's like a golden candle, right? But mm -hmm. this is actually this is a, so you, you have this. So when when this candle closes, that's the question. When this one opens up, same time, right? Mm -hmm. It closes and this open. We only have the uh, the access to the uh, candle open time. So we're going to uh, look as soon as the new candle open, look at the time. Right? Yeah. So for example, here is 2.25. Yeah. That means this candle closes at 2.25 and this open at 2.25. Right? Okay. Uh, two, sorry, 2.25 is the date and the time is 12.30. Similarly, this candle is in construction right now. Is in the making, right? Mm -hmm. So, uh, but this candle started at uh, around right after five o'clock, and right now it's what time is it now? Uh, well, for you, it's seven twenty. Seven twenty, right? So it's two and a half, uh, almost two and a half hour, and this candle is still going on. You see that? And it's yeah. a forty-minute candle, right? <laughs> right. But the problem is that the whole world is watching and waiting for the rate news for Aussie dollar. Right. So this thing is not going to finish. Nobody wants to trade at this moment, this pair, right? Correct. That's what. So, but once you know that this candle is closed, this candle, this means the white candle, the reversal candle, which we are going to watch this one. If the news comes out and it closes and the, the new candle opens up and the price starts moving, what will we will you see on the seven minute chart? That's the question. Let me show it to you. You immediately go to the seven minute chart of Euro Aussie. So let me locate that seven minute chart, even if I all right, okay, I have it here. Let me refresh it and then can you see this black uh, chart, five minute chart? Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. So I just want to make sure that you know you see it because. Uh, Okay, I'm just gonna refresh it, make sure that everything we're 55, 65. Okay. Now, so this is the one of the, the this is the first place where we use the seven minute from a turning point. So I refresh the chart, 70, uh, I mean, seven minute chart, right? And this is a seven minute chart, right? Right, right. Now, 95% of the time, when the 40 minute candle, this one, finishes up, right? And mm -hmm. the new blue candle starts, you will find the seven minute chart is the price between the yellow line. Well, actually, uh, the, the price would be between the black line and this red line. The thick red line? Yeah. And the yellow will be between this thin black line and the red line. This mm -hmm. you got this uh, thick black line for now and the white line. Okay. 
So that's what I call like no man's land situation where, uh, you know, you can't go short and you can't go long. All right. But this is where you're going to end up yourself when the reversal 40 minute candle happens. Okay. Finishes up. Now you're expecting to go up, right? Long. Yeah. But as soon as it finishes, most of the time, you will not find any entry point. Correct. For example, if you go back and we take a look here again, this was uh, okay, it's 225, 12.30. Right. right. So if we can go back there, 225, 12.30, I don't know if we can go back there. Okay, maybe 225. 225, 1230. Oh, man, come on, man. We're almost there. 1230? 225, yeah. 1245, right there? Yeah. 12 o'clock? 1230, right 1230, there. 1230, right there. Yeah. Right there, the price, I mean, uh, the 40 minute candle finishes. So this bounce here, that's 40 minute candle cooking here and seven minute chart. Okay. So while the 40 minute candle is in, in the making, you don't do anything. You just watch it. Right. Once it's finished and your idea is that, okay, if you have a reversal candle finishes and some, a new candle is supposed to happen, then what do you expect? You expect that this yellow line will be between the black and red line which means you cannot go long and you cannot go short. Mm -hmm. So seven minute chart for long and short, the yellow line has to be either one side of the red line as well as below or higher on the, uh, uh, I mean, uh, the, the black line. For example, for long, we have the rule that yellow has to be over black, right? Correct. That's 20 minutes, regardless of anything else. But on a seven minute, I added one more rule, which is that the yellow line also has to be above red line. Okay. Not only black, but also on the red, above the red. For sure, yellow has to be below the black line, the thin black line, mm -hmm. but also has to be below the red line. Okay. Because that's an extra rule, the red, red line. That's why, uh, see, even in the alarm, I have it uh, one alarm called a red cross, right? So with yeah. cross is like without the red line, but the red cross is that the when, uh, yellow line crosses the red on the other side, goes the other side. That's why I call it, uh, you know, red cross. Now, after the 40 minute, what are you expecting? Short or long? After the form, um, long. Long, right? So, yeah. and the red has to be above the red. Uh, yellow has to be above the red, above the black, and then above the red, right? Right, so right. If you look here, this is a 20-minute entry because the red is, I mean, the yellow is above the black. Correct. This indicates all the way down. But since it's a seven-minute chart, we have an extra condition that yellow also has to be above, above the red. The red. Uh -huh. Right now, let me tell you between you and me, I would even take this one because I'm almost an expert of this, right? I know right. the system, I know that this is what's gonna happen, definitely. And even if I'm wrong, what am I gonna lose? 15 20 pip here, no big deal. I recover all of that, you know, most of the time. But for, uh, for the general public and then for you know, newcomers, right, who are starting, I said, well, you know, to avoid bad entries, forget about these entries, just uh, you know, take the definite entry or uh, more reliable entry, which is when the yellow is also above the red. Right. Now the cross happened here. Right. Mm -hmm. Now the yellow is going above the red. Got it? Yes. And then it is above the black. Yes. So now the bullish conditions are cooking. Now you wait for a long setup. Mm -hmm. Do you see any long setup right after that? Yeah. You see it, right? Yes. 
You see this one. If you put your SL very close, you might get your your SL might get hit, but you can have this entry here again. Yeah. Right? Right. This one right there. This indicates all the way down here. This is all. So these are the two entries here. Mm -hmm. But you know, if you put an, uh, have an SL here, maybe your broker will not go down here, and then you know, you your SL is safe. Even if it's not, let's say you you made an entry here, then you're usually your as you know uh, the amount is what like thirteen pip, right? Thirteen forty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Even if that hit, you take you have this another one, you take this one, and then look what happened. Even if you miss that, you can have in the way going up, you have another one here. This mm -hmm. is how you with the 40 minute because the 40 minute is making a turn so it has to go a long way the calculation requires uh, for for example see it's all the way down here big drop right and I, I i made this chart as well i i was expecting a bounce from 53 46 so it went down a little bit more to the next level which was not too far and then bounced and i was expecting exactly the same bounce i have the chart you probably have to uh, have it too I was mm -hmm. sending it and then I posted on the telegram as well. This bounce. That we're gonna bounce. Right. So so we bounce. But we know that for um 40 minute chart, if a bounce is supposed to happen from here to even here, look, it's 5272. We're talking about 5476. From here to here only, forget about all of that. That is only 200 pip. Right? So yeah. If you go on a seven minute chart and you take an entry, you have several, uh, uh, you know, uh, opportunities to make 40, 50 uh, pip small charts. Or if you are lucky, you, you, you understand this whole game perfectly. And then you make a proper entry here, right? Then you can easily cash all this out. Right. And until you, you hold down to it until you have a reversal candle on a 20 minute chart, which you don't see, uh, you know, so after a long time, you can see here. Uh, probably this was the time. Uh, yeah, was it? Uh, to, to, yeah, yeah. Okay, here, right? So all the way here. And what are my trade? I mean, I, I close here, by the way. Uh, uh, the trade that I, I was long, I took that entry the one I'm showing you. And then I closed uh -huh. it here because I saw you know, reversal and there was a resistance here. But then it dipped and then it gave a 20 minute entry right here. You see that, the magic? Yeah, I see it. Not only, so seven minute chart is the only, uh, uh, why I'm using the seven minute chart because I got 100 pips from here to here, right? If you choose to forget about the seven minute chart, it's too difficult, too you know problematic and too quick and too, uh, you know, uh, fast and uh, I just stick to the uh, 20 minute idea. That's fine. You have 20 minute entry here. One, two, three, four, and hundreds of pips, right? Mm -hmm. You don't have to ha uh, use the seven minute uh, entry, but I got hundred pips from there using it, right? <laughs> that's extra. That's that's for, you know, that's, you know, a candy, you know, for a little bit, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so some extra sweetness, right? Why less all of that? If you understand it properly, you can cash that out because you know the twenty minute. You don't see any twenty minute setup here, so it's like like harmonic pattern. Like I treat harmonic patterns, uh, uh, not patterns, no, patterns. <laughs> so uh, a conventional way for Gertle, they say, okay, once the Gertle is finished, uh, or or let's say for for example, a butterfly pattern, right? Uh -huh. which ends up at uh, all the way extension, 127, long way from point uh, C to D. Uh, they say, okay, once it's finished at D, then you open the trade. I say, what am I, stupid? You know, if I can understand that the point C, and now we are going for po point D, 300 pip, I'm going to sit down there and just watch for all <laughs> the pip is printing all and right. not do anything? No way. You know? And, and, and that's how they teach it. That's how people wait for it. Look for the perfect, completed pattern. Come on, man. You know, <laughs> pay a little bit more attention. Yeah. And get in early. You know, understand this. This this is like a road map. For example, if you met, I always give this example that if, you're, if you've been hired as a pizza delivery boy, right? And if you do not 
have a cell phone with GPS and you don't have a map and you are new in the area, what are you going to do? Can you do the job? You will take, yeah. uh, you don't know how to find the address. All the, the, the whole territory is new. So you're going to get lost easily. Exactly. Right. But if you have the GPS or you have the map or you've been living there for 10 years, 20 years, and you know every single street where to make the turn to go where, then you have no problem with that job. Right. Even you can teach other drivers that, look, buddy, take this route. You know, you will get there quicker. Right. Understand. So this is how the road, this, these map, these charts, seven minute, 20, these are roads. This, this is the territory that we move within. And if you can understand that how it move and uh, you can make a system like, like I just showed you that this is the idea. This is a system that the first uh, area where you use, I use very successfully the seven minute chart. Now, when the move already started and going, and then you have a 20 minute chart, now I don't use the seven minute chart. That's too dangerous. Right. Too wobbly, right? So there was some guy who was complaining that, oh, and he's a, you know, just a brand new to the Forex, so that, you know, it gives it too many false entry. Yeah, that's why I said don't use the seven minute chart and everywhere. It's only for a couple of places. Only for a couple of places. I've been teaching that for a long time. Not all the time. 20 minute. Even like the, for, for example, you have like, the, this is the first one. This is the second one. Now, what do you think is going to give you a 10 uh, more setups going long? No. It's going to make a turn, right? So the third one, you have to be careful. <laughs> because after that, it might make a turn. Right. Right? So once you're making a turn on a 40-minute chart or like my weekly chart, well, weekly chart is too big, right? So you, don't, you, you understand the whole uh, big picture, but... Uh, you know, trading on a daily basis requires a little bit of short term. So that's why I created the 40 for a guide where we can understand the daily move. The, uh, I call it swing, right? Everybody else calls swing. 40 minute, our 40 minute chart is like a four hour chart, the regular four hour chart. Right. Okay. So that gives you the guide. So if you know that we can bounce from here and then from point A to point B, it's a small, a small distance looking at the four hour chart but on a five minute chart it's a big distance and a couple of hundred pip that's more than enough for the whole night if you understand the game if you make 50 pip if you if you master yourself to to pull out 50 pip every night right even if you let's say you you make an entry and you lose some 25 pip it doesn't matter the night is young right the whole day you have a and then you made another, you know, uh, uh, entry. And even that one is gone. The SL hit at break even. You're still losing 25. But then you make a third entry somewhere else, maybe some other pair or something uh, mm -hmm. set up. And then you make an entry and then you pull the 75, 80 pip trade at the end of the day. So let's say you, you pull the 100 pip trade minus the 25 you lost. You made the 75 pip at the end of the day. So 24 hour, if, if you rest one session, then you have two sessions eight hour each that's 16 hours of trading right right so you yeah. can have several opportunities to come up with let's say i would say even 30 pip move let's say you have a, a 20 minute setup from here to here close the trade 30 pip but you use one standard lot yeah once you master that you you know that every single day you come out week two week Every day you're coming out to 30 pip, 40 pip, 50 pip, easy. Just go with a couple of hundred lot, um, a couple of uh, standard lots. You'll be making a thousand, more than a thousand a day. Increase that size, lot size, simple as that. Yeah. You understand? Just master yeah. the, understand the system you'll master. I'm just showing you to taking these trades, big trades to show that you can do a lot with this. It's not only, you know, the understanding the whole game. I've been doing this for 15 years. So I understand it. So for 30, 40 pip, that's nonsense to me. Why would I sell down for 30 or 40 pip? Because this, this daily range of this, you look at this Euro Aussie. You see this here? Mm -hmm. The previous day range is 185. Means Monday. Come on. Monday, the slowest day of the day. And uh, last Friday, it did 245. I think it's still, uh, more than 245. Uh, 251. Wow. 
250 pip move a day. Yesterday, I mean, just uh, Monday is still going on. Mondays are still young right now, right? Yeah. Uh, this broker and uh, closes at five, so that's why. I said, so, but uh, Mondays is, uh, and it already moved 185 pip. So, can you take 100 pip out of it? <laughs> <laughs> 70, yeah, pip, 80 pip, 90, you know, something like that. Easy. Yeah. That. But if you understand where uh, the turn is going to happen. So we had this chart uh, over the, the, you know, it, that happened Thursday and Friday. This is what happened. And we went all the way up and 61% and we closed Friday like that. So I said, it's so easy. You know, it's going to drop here. Definitely the big, big move to the upside. So it has to have a retracement. And that's exactly what happened. And when the, you see this the white dotted line, that's when the market opens up, and right after that, it'll start dropping. And it's sitting there right now. And the, the reversal candle is it's at the level. Remember, these levels are very, very important. It, it goes from one level to another. Look at this. This is a, a zone here, right? It's 56, 54, 56, 82, and then it kissed the 52, 82, 56, 82, mm -hmm. right? From there straight down to 54, 73. It's not that I just uh, wrote this number down. It was it is there for years. <laughs> it's a weekly, monthly low, by the way. It's a monthly number. I didn't make it. It's a monthly number, uh, 5473. On a monthly chart, you 54 um, right there. This is the low. Yeah. 5493 is there. 50, you know, these are the numbers, 5827. If we go up now, I'm expecting 5827. So this is a dangerous chart. Dangerous means that it, it may just break this tail and then drop big time. Big right. time I'm talking about. But it might react to this tail and to uh, a red decision. But like I said, that all of these here is already low. Below these numbers, it can drop big time after the red decision. Something like this. Oh, yeah. I see see? This is only from here to here. We can... You know, this pair can do this pair has the capability this, you know, of doing this. Yeah. And this, if you look at this, this is a harmonic pattern calculation. X, A, B, C, D. After that, it's playing out and it can go all the way down. Uh, for doing that, Yoda has to get killed and the Aussie has to get really strong. So Aussie got very, very strong, but... So regardless, let's go back to the, the topic there. So that's that, you know, these are the very, very important numbers that you must. Now I'm, I'm, I'm targeting this, that this is, even if we, let's say going down, we're going to go down, right? Bre break the monthly TL we just saw, and we're going to go down. But a lot of times this thing makes the this kind of pattern and then go down. For example, look just below this here. See this move here? Then it goes A, B, C, A, B, C, and then come down. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yeah. A little bit before, you see this drop here? Then it goes up, then come down. You understand? And yeah. then coming down is also wobbling. So this is exactly what I'm expecting here. That it came down here, it's waiting, and... 90% uh, chance that it will go up first and then come down. But you never know. So we're going to be ready. L the under to understand is that if we are going to go up, now you understand that we must see a long setup on a seven minute chart. Do we have it right now? Can you go long right now? No. Obviously not. Can you go short right now? No. Now, see, this is how this system saves you from getting wrong <laughs> entry. <laughs> you yeah. can't, it, it doesn't allow you to go on the wrong side at all. And even then, once in a while you go, it's like uh, maybe two or three out of ten. Now, if you have seven trades going in your way, averaging 70 pip, 80 pip, and you have three trades going against you, maybe one for SL hit 25 pip and then the other one is 10 pip and then the third one is on, at a break even, right? Mm -hmm. So maybe, you know, 35, 40 pip you lose and then on, and with seven pip, uh, I mean, for seven trades, even 50 pip each, that's, you know, more than 300. Yeah. 
So that's, uh, you know, average out. So a lot of people ask me, oh, you never show you're a loser. You don't lose it. Come on, man, I lose. But here I'm explaining and you can see it here that where the heck I'm going to lose. How I'm <laughs> going to lose. I'm not making an entry here because I know it's no man's land. That's what it is. The yeah. price is in between yellow and red and the yellow line is in between red and black. That means no man's land. You don't touch the trade. You don't do any, you don't open any trade. It can go any side. Mike? Your own, your own subscribers tell you that you, you don't show your losses? No, 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 no. Some other, oh. some other, some other people. They don't understand okay. it, everything. But, you know, like, you know, YouTube videos I put over there, right? Yeah. yeah. So obviously, yeah. I'm not going to waste my time showing that I lost this, I lost this. I'm not there to, to teach people how to lose. Right. You know, what am I going to show that, you know, oh, yeah, my SL hit at break even, so it's just useless. Mm -hmm. What I'm showing is that how many pip you can make, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, in the whole week, you know, 500, 600 pip. Yeah, you lost 100 pip, 150 pip. So what? Who cares about it? That happens. I'm not saying yeah. that, that never happened. That happened. But the idea is that you make twice as much as you lose right correct you lose 100 you make 200 yeah that's the game that's how it is uh, your your sl hit the system it works so that your sl hit and, to, and totaling 100 pip losses but you your sl do not hit and then let you run you know run your trade for uh you know 200 300 pip correct right then the you know then you you have math on your side so this is how, this is the one of the place where you use the seven minute chart, right? Not in the middle, you know, it looks like, yeah, all of these, right? But there's no guarantee when it's going to make the turn. If you might, you know, it looks like, uh, yeah, it is going to go, yeah, it went down nice and clean, but not reliable. Reliable is when you have a 40 minute candle, right? Regardless of that, any pattern, any Elliott wave uh, turning point, possible turning point, I would also again say it's possible. It may not happen. But the bottom line is that if it doesn't go up, would you see any long setup? Are you seeing any long setup? Hello? No. Okay. So you can't go long. You cannot go wrong. If it's going to drop, it's now it's your discretion that if you want to go short or not, right? It, yeah, I would say that okay, it's too much extended. For example, here, right when it was here and dropping, I didn't touch it. I said, No, I'm not gonna touch it. It's, it's already dropped so much, I, it may not, you know, I was it may not go further. Oh, and when the bounce happened, I was right there. <laughs> <laughs> I was expecting that and I was waiting for that. Then I got this one, then I got the 20 minute going long all the way again. This one was a seven minute, 100 pip. And then I took, uh, I think this one or this one. And again, you know, I went long. So I had several trades going up and then coming down. And I just showed you, I don't know if I showed you or not, but it's on, on the telegram already I posted. I took this entry here for 85 pip today. Wow, that's a good move. And not, not, this is the one that I'm showing you. I'm not showing this one and this one. I had like 30, 40 pip here, 30, 40 pip here from seven minute chart. Just like yeah. I'm showing you, let, let's let's take a look. At, let's take a look at that That's from the top. You see that here? Yeah. Right. Now, do you see the um, uh, reversal candles? Several of them, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so you have a reversal candle. For example, let me open it up a little. Now here, and this was ending Friday. You know that the Friday, the you know the, the end of the month, right? End yeah. of the day, uh, end of the week, and you're not supposed to even trade on Friday. So especially right. at the end time, right? So this was uh, the end of Friday. It was like forget about it. Just close sh your shop and go uh, have fun, right? So, but look, even then, every reversal candle after the reversal candle happened, like for example, this one. What do we expect? Down. No, no, no. Yeah, but that how you jump from a building. <laughs> <laughs> How, what, 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 what do you expect? Where do you go? What do you watch? Oh, the seven minute. 
Ah, be specific. You, you train your mind to be specific, right? Step by step, right? right. And now, if this one, what is it? This one ended when this started, right? Yeah. Okay, this has started when? Uh, 1806, 1800. Yeah, 1805, yeah. 26, 1800, right? Let's go see if, and then we, we were expecting a short, right? So let's go see if we got the short. At, ah, I forgot the time. What was the time? 1800? Okay. 1800, yeah. 1800, 1800 is not even our trading time. You're not supposed to even trade that time, right? Right. But I'm just going to show you, you know, for the sake of uh, learning here. 1800 here, right here. Can you go short here? No. Reversal candle was there, right? right? But not the proper time still. Correct. So what? What are we going to do? We're going to watch. We're going to watch this and the seven minute both. So here it went up again. Then again, it posted this one here. Reversal candle. When yeah. this one ended, when this started. Correct. It started at March the 1st. Midnight. Five, or five o'clock when the market opens up. Okay. Right. Today. Right? Hello, today? Today is first, right? Yes. Okay. So see this candle? Yes. No, no, no. no, no. Hey, hold, on, hold on. This one is, which one? I saw the mark the first. Oh, the, this candle. No, the next candle. But this one was? To, yeah. No, no, no. Uh, yeah, yeah. You, 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 you got me confused, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> right, so look, this is the reversal candle to going down, right? Correct. Yes. So this ended when this started. Right. So this started, look at the time in the bottom. March 1st, 000. zero, zero. Right. So that is March 1st means March 1st is today, right? Correct. Yes. And But the day before, like Sunday, when the market opened up on Sunday, that's what it is. Oh, and okay. it, it turns March 31st uh, at 5 o'clock in the evening. The, the the price changes the time changes okay my okay. broker time so when the market opens up you see this white dotted line this is the day open so sunday open uh, opening time the market when the market opens up this candle started so can we start looking for short entry yeah yeah okay so let's take a look so now all of this garbage happening on friday yeah. Right. And uh, the, obviously, it's be all the way up, so we're not gonna take this long. That's nonsense. At the end of the uh, the, the, the high of the move, right? Mm -hmm. So we're looking for short. Yeah. But short scenario is not there. Right. Yeah. But can you? You see, this is the, the March first started here, and this is where the reversal candle ended. Right. Right? Now, my question is, can you take a short this one here? Yes. Why? Because the yellow, oh no, not yet. I was looking I was looking at the yellow below the black. Okay, is it below or no? It is. Okay, and then what the, the second condition is? The second con is the yellow below the red. Okay, is it? It is, yes. Then why you okay. said no? Well, cuz I was uh, I don't know. You can you can enter it, even though to me it looks like it's just touching. So I was always thinking like, um, right. But you're expecting the very very good big chance that it's gonna drop because you went all the way to the upside. Right. If you play by the rule, yeah. Regardless of everything, take out your emotion or any other thing. Just stay by the rules. Correct. You're expecting short. Is it a short entry or no? Yes, it is. Yes. If you take it, can you take 40, 50 pip out of this? Yeah, you definitely can. You can see it. <laughs> is this the short entry here? Yes. Is this the one? Yeah. Is this the one? Yeah. Yeah, but then, you know, it might get hit. Right? Now, yeah. how how you going to get hit? Your SL going to get your, the price. Let's say you make an entry here. The price goes down here, right? Correct. As it is, the SL on the seven-minute chart is 13 pip. So you move your 
as I'll hear, maybe five pip at risk right now. Yeah. Your SL goes up here, hit it here. Right? Correct. Now, here you can see this. I would definitely, I actually took this one because let, it, it looks like the yellow is just above the black, but you know, you understand this Forex, it's like it's not two plus two, 100%. <laughs> but the price is like, you know, coming down, you were expecting that, right? So this is just right. a guideline that's to see that, yeah, this is what's happening. So if you take this one or this one, and then you just hold on to it, and then you keep it. And look, look how it is going now. Now, this is the, I just told you, remember, that as soon as you make an entry, uh, sorry, uh, as soon as you have a reversal candle, the very early and quickly that you will get, like maybe this one or this one, you use that seven minute chart. After that, you don't. Yeah, everything After else is that, 20 minutes, right? After that, you look for a 20 minute. Right. You understand? This is the place. Yeah. When the turn happens, right after the, uh, uh, you know, um, 40 minute ends, you know, immediately, <clears throat> within 40, 50, 60 pip, you should get <coughs> this entry. So this was a good one. This was a good one. And after that, you wait for 20 minutes, right? Now, yeah. now look for the 20 minute on March 1st. When did we get the 20 minute? So now you understand that this one and this one I just showed you on a seven minute chart. These both of them I I I, I traded. Then later on the 20 minute comes in. Mm -hmm. Right? Touching the yellow line. I mean, you yes. can say that 20 minute, this one also the 20 minute, right? This is also right. the 20 minute. This is also the 20 minute. Right. right. Yellow below the red isn't only isn't for the 20 minute, right? It's only no, for no, the no, seven no. minute. No, it's only for the seven minute. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. That is to filter more um, uh, bad trades. You know, even like you know, uh, more filtering the bad entries. Right. So it's what's left is all pure right entries. Maybe ten percent chances of a bad entry from seven minutes. If you pay attention, the forty minute turning points. Now, to find the forty minute turning point, Ram. Mm -hmm. I gave you uh, an alarm. If you can yeah. have uh, an extra laptop or something, right? And you open an MT4 with only 40 minute charts, right? If you have a good, in your, let me explain it. If you have a good, like i7 on up computer, you can open four MT4 on that computer and it will not slow down. Right. Okay, there was another guy complaining that, oh, this system sucks and, you know, it just my, my computer freezing. <laughs> but, buddy, it's your computer's problem, not the system <laughs> problem, you know. It's the yeah. computer problem and you'll be okay. Yeah, I, I you know, I, I always tell everyone that if you have I3, you're going to have a freezing problem. You can't open five, six, even even five pair and you are, you're, you know, the charge will start, uh, you know, uh, slowing down. Right. Or, or, or freeze time to time. The MT4 will freeze because that's oh. how it is. I5, pretty good. I7, and up the best. Yeah. Um, uh, technically, huh? what was it? I was going to say, like, uh, right now, that would be, you would you say that that's a short entry also? I mean, I'm not saying take it, but I'm just saying, like, uh, that would be, right? No, because I, I would take it at least touching the yellow line. Okay. 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 But the thing is that the filter is the time right now. This is not the proper time, um, uh, especially like uh, you know, Asian session. And but the Asian session, we don't have any news schedule except the Aussie news at ten thirty, which is the red news. So everybody's waiting for that. Common sense. And until right. then, nobody's gonna touch these Asian currency pairs. And they obviously, pound US is not gonna move because it's European session pair. Right. You know, pound people and USD people both are sleeping right now, <laughs> <laughs> right? So pound people will come, you know, will wake up later on, a few, a few hours from now, and then USD is just, you know, we are having seven o'clock in the evening, so we have eight <laughs> hours to wake up at nine o'clock in the morning, the session will start, and then, then you expect the Euro, USD, pound, USD to move. Right now, we use, you expect the Aussie um, and yen pairs. 
pairs it has yen and Aussie, right? And especially right. yen, uh, euro yen was making a 20 minute uh, setup, but lately I'm not trading that. Uh, so uh, I don't know what happened. Uh, the setup was there. So uh, I just uh, posted it on a telegram. If it went down or not, I don't know. Um, but the thing is, um, yeah. So this is, uh, you know, the market just opened up here. Uh, not the market, the session, right? And it went up, but, you know, it's just going to stay here wobbling around. This is uh, Euro Aussie. So uh, until the new, um, uh, the news, the news come out. Uh, it's not this is not gonna move but i i'm expecting this so um, uh, um you know we're gonna be waiting for that and we will see when that happens yeah uh, I'll, be, I'll be looking out for that okay so this is um now tell me if everything is clear or you still have the question then throw at me any question don't think that's a stupid question any no any uh, a doubt or any thing that you have in your mind well everything is clear in regards to um the entries but I, I, the only thing i had a problem with the, earlier i mentioned was the um you know the timing the 40 minute is you know not really 40 minutes so yeah I, everything is cleared up i i understand it now so it's now, pretty okay now on the second session if you can do it quickly sometime okay then I will show you the second step, the second major area where you can use the seven minute. This is, as you can see that this is a 40 minute turning point, but this is a retracement and then going in this direction, right? Right, right. And um, second would be basically like this, all the way extended move uh, after you have an extended move uh, and bouncing from uh, a strong level. Right. right, you're expecting a, a bounce, but you're expecting only, okay? N nothing definite here, right? My set is the number one. My motto is, if then, if then. You understand? If yeah. we bounce, then look for seven minute long. If we break this level, then look for short, seven minute short. If then, if then, right? So if a right. uh, 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 drop from here makes the turn. Look for seven minutes short first and then 20 minutes later. Both happen here. Two entries, seven minutes, one 20 minutes. I got right. going down here. Okay. In between, one, one of my try got hit and then uh, probably like 10 pip loss. But the 20 minute was eight, uh, 85 pip, which is on the, on the telegram already posted. And those uh, small were like 30, 35 pip each. So that 77 and 85 is like, you know, 150, 160 pip minus the 10 pip SL hit. Who cares about that? <laughs> <laughs> so that's what it is. Now, again, turning point is going to happen here. So you have an ext extended move and reversal. You can use the seven minute chart early, then wait and then and look for the 20 minute. Okay. Now, another thing, there are a couple of things, but if I start talking now, then another, I need a half an hour, an hour, uh, yeah. and I don't want to put too much information. And then that's what happens. That's a lot of people that try to learn everything at the same time. And yeah. then poof, everything <laughs> collapsed. Exactly. <laughs> and the yeah. thing is in the brain, everything goes out again, you know, it comes from one side at one end and then goes out the other end. <laughs> right. <laughs> so you, you understand this, right? And master this. You clarify every single thing, any doubt, any problem, anything that why it says March here, for example, you know, it seems like a stupid question, but I will tell you that, okay, this is the month of March. That's why I wrote it down. Right. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so, so this um, is before, before means, you know, before, you know, trade happens, you know, it's just like after uh, I will make another chart that will be after that will show what happened after. Right. Okay, so this is how it is. So any question whatsoever, don't think that it's a small question or silly question, just ask, because the more you ask, the more you're going to learn, and then perfectly you're going to learn. And once right. you learn, you can see, I, I show you everywhere, every turning point gives you a certain, and if sometimes the move is too fast, right, you don't see no seven minutes. And the price goes, you know, all the way, 100, 150 people. Okay, no problem. It will, the bigger the move, the faster the move, the deeper the retracement, which will produce the 20-minute setup. 
Right. Seven minute is the small retracement. Uh huh. Which on the twenty minute chart you don't see a setup. For example, this was, um, uh, this wobble here was a twenty minute. Uh, 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 sorry, um, a good seven minute, right? But can you go and can you take uh, this one as a twenty minute here? No, because look at the bottom end uh, uh, indicator. It's not in place, and yellow is not below the black, right? So right. we cannot take this twenty yet but it was a very nice beautiful short setup we can't take uh 40 minutes well i mean we shouldn't take 40 minute entries right or that's no like no, no. 40 minutes is not for entry at all okay yeah that's if you want if you want you can take it but your sl has to be 50 60 pip which i hate <laughs> <laughs> i don't want to get back to the market that many pip no way yeah. I yeah. don't, I am against the big SL big time. My SL maximum is 25 pip. Either okay. take it or leave it. As simple as that. <laughs> <laughs> no question, uh, you know, uh, no question asked. Simple. No, no other option. Take it or leave it. 25 pip. Right. I'm take 25. Okay, no problem. I sell it fine. I'll have four hit, five hit, six hit. But then I'm, I'll catch. Uh, the other day, Pound Frank gave me 245 pip trade. Wow. And we don't always have, we don't have to use pattern, correct? What was that? We don't have to use pattern, like a, a harmonic pattern. We don't have to use any of that. We can just base it on, you know, 40 minute uh, candle showing that it's closing. And then, you know, you look for the entry on the seven and 20 minutes. We could only, we could just do the, we could just use the tool just to look at that, right? We don't have yeah, to have. Let me, let me, let me explain you this. That, okay. A simple car, a body over four wheels, right? Take you yeah. one place, another one. You make a little bit of changes, you make a BMW. You make a little bit of changes, you make only a Camry. You make a little bit of changes, you may end up making a Volkswagen, right? Right, right. And then you make a nice changes, beautiful changes, expensive car, you make a Rolls Royce. That's how it is. Mm, you can trade. Simply the one that I just explained you between 40 and 7, what the hell with everything else? Throw everything right. out of the window. But, you know, like 40 minute chart, 40 minute candles, if you can pinpoint and then learn more and then try to avoid even on a 40 minute wrong entries, for example, 40 minute, see this reversal happen here? Yeah. Right? It will never give you a long entry after this. It never went enough long enough, right? But still, if you see that, you know, there's um, no other way. It's in a, you do the calculation, Elliott wave, this is wave three, this is wave four, then wave five has to be below this wave three. So why would it go up here? There is no harmonic pattern. There is no Elliott wave. So your, your mind will tell you that, buddy, you know, it's going to come down more. Don't worry. It's coming down. Right. So you not only that you will hold the trade, long trades you get, but also, you know that you have an idea that you will at least go down to 5592. That's why these numbers are there because the price doesn't do anything but go from one number to another. We are breaking this number, going down means we're going to the next number. Yeah. If you look at the seven minute, I don't know if I have, no, I don't have many numbers here, not here either. I don't know why, um, but you know, uh, th this, this mo moving between number to number, literally number to number. After, see, this is the number, this is uh, 5592, see that? Yeah. And after that, uh, it came down here, what is it, 54, all the way here. What do we have? 54694. 5469. Uh-huh. And you see, um, 54, 55, very close to this one. Haven't touched yet, but very close. We came very close. We're still, you know, expecting to touch that, but maybe we're not going to touch it. And on a 40 minute, you can see this is 5473. Uh, oh, that's the number, 5473. And it touched it below uh, uh, 5592. So it, it dropped below 5592. And we see on a 20 minute chart that it's not nice and clean, was making a short setup. 
dropping straight down to 54.73. That's a monthly. That's why I didn't see it because you see right there. I showed you before. 54.73 came. A little bit more than it will be touching the 54.56. So it always from one number to another. Yeah. Highs and lows. So uh, if you learn that, you know, it's like more uh, cherry on the top, right? Icing on the cake. So harmonic patterns, Elliott wave, all of that, yes, it, they will always help. See, this is uh, 55.92, straight down to 54.73. Yeah. Easily catching out this 100 pip. 100 pip right there, from there to there. And I tell you one thing. I had this one also. I had this one, this one, and this one. Man, that's a lot. <laughs> right. That's a lot of pips. Uh, seven minutes, seven minutes, and 20 minutes. So this is what I'm talking about. Um, uh, I don't know what I was going to say, something important. I forgot, I forgot, forget, forget it. So yeah, so we're going to talk about uh, a turning point and a use of seven minutes in one more session to clarify everything. We're going to revise this one and then the the second step of this like uh, the second condition or second place where you can use the seven minute uh properly and accurately it is not to use all the time because it's gonna be you know the price of wobble and, and then you have ranging conditions when the low volume time is you will see a lot of wobbling right right price up and down it just don't move after finishing the daily range you know see the previous day, I mean, which is right now, it says previous day because at five o'clock, this broker cut off the day, right? But right now we have, what, seven, seven o'clock, eight o'clock? So yeah. it's the same day, Monday, right? And it has done all, 185 plus 46. Yeah. Now here it says 46 today means since five o'clock, five, six, seven, in three hours, it is, it has moved. 46 pip means start from top to bottom from five o'clock means see this white dollar line this is where it started so the five o'clock asian session opened it dropped here then it went up here and then it's yeah. staying exactly the same place why we have a very strong red news red decision at 10 30 that's where this gonna it's going to move now yeah. imagine that this is a next day starting the previous day, 185 pip. So far, 46 pip from top to bottom, right? So let's say uh, after the the news comes out, it has to go 200 pip, right? And it goes to the upside. 200 pip starts from here, from bottom to top. Right now, what is it? Let's say the bottom is 70, 54, 70. So 200 pip, how much? Add 50, 200 pip to that, 5670. Yeah. Right? So, do we have any level 5670? Right there. Yeah. Between there, right? Yeah. Right? Somewhere there. That's the next number bypassing this one. So, if the red decision uh, comes out and if the Aussies start getting weaker, we're going to bounce. You're going to have to find, you know, find a, a, a early a seven minute entry, if not the 20 minute, but you have 200 pip. Just go from here to here. My expectation that we're probably going to go all the way here, at least to make this girdle pattern. Oh, if it's going to drop, it's going to make the turn. And if it is with three, then it will go much higher. Looking at uh 1.618 i didn't even uh mention here on this chart because there is no room for that so let's say it, it goes up from here so 1.618 comes where this is 100 percent yeah 120 right there this is the level 61.88 can we go there for wave three yeah why not great decision not maybe in one day, but maybe, you know, maybe two or three days. And, and then if this is going to be wave three, 
then it usually come like in five waves, one, two, three, four, five, like, you know, some small wave, like, you see this one, two, three, four, five, something like that. So it yeah. will be going up all the way there, 6188. But who cares about that? Right now we're dealing with, you know, 55, 54, 73. <laughs> so we're talking about just taking, you know, 50, 60 pip, 100 pip trade a day yeah. out of this pair, which is easy. So pay attention. Let's, you know, this is your homework, right? If we're going to go up, try to take the entry, even if a dem demo account. And seven minute early entry. And if you can't find one, wait. And, you know, later on, you will find a tw 20 minute entry. Yeah. This one. This is a 20 minute entry. This is a 20 minute entry. Right? Here coming down, you can't even see a 20 minute entry, but I just showed you that there was a 20 minute which I took. So 40 minute, it's like you see a straight line, but yeah, and within that, you find the seven minute entries and the 20 minute entries. So right. this one, I use the 40 minute as a roadmap to see where the heck we are going after the news. Or even if there is no news, then usually what happens is that the price just make these harmonic patterns and ideal wave regardless why i don't know that's natural phenomena or something but it happens it always happens it's always there so the, your question yeah okay if you do we do you have to uh, learn that no but uh, for example if you uh, a lot of doctors right uh, you know you get the md degree right and they can stay md general general practitioner right mm -hmm. Do they have to become a surgeon? Do they have to become a heart surgeon? Then you have to go and you know study four more years, right? Yeah. To no. become a heart surgeon or ETNT e e specialist, right? Or gynecologist, those, those are specialty fields. Right. Why, why pretty, they learn that? Just pretty much just like the icing you know, on the cake, to right? Learn more, to become expert. Right, right. Something, right? So yeah, you be a doctor, okay. You just, you know, see, okay, yeah, you have a fever, take Tylenol, you have what? <laughs> and to, to take, to, you know, take this, take that. Uh, you know, just be a, you know, simple doctor. But then they, they go, you know, more further in a study and then they specialize in, you know, different fields, right? That's what it is. So to me, I learned that because once I learned all this small mumbo jumbo garbage, then I said, what the heck is the harmonic patterns? Let's learn that. Then, you know, what the heck is Elliot Bay? What the heck is this? What the heck is that? You know? So I slowly learned, you know, little by little, I learned everything. And then I put everything together. So it's okay. That makes life easy. Yeah. Yeah. Makes sense. So that's why, you know, if, it's, if you learn, it's very good. Then you know that, you know, where the heck you're going, if you're going in that direction, what is going to happen? So that helps a lot in holding trades like big trades, big trades. For example, the pound Aussie trade today, I had the pound Aussie trade for 120 pip and Euro Aussie for 85 pip. Why? Because I was expecting the Aussie was hitting the tier. Uh, yesterday webinar, did you, did you see the yesterday webinar recording? Uh, no, I was not able to see it. Okay, if you see that you understand it, then I showed it over there that, you know, the Aussie dollar index was sitting at the TL and I was expecting a bounce and Aussie going to get it strong. Obviously, when Aussie gets it strong, Euro Aussie, Pound Aussie drop. Right. So I was expecting that. They drop, I cut them. Simple as that. Here, I'm expecting again, the, this, thing, this thing is going to go up and also Pound Aussie. I haven't made the chart for that, right? But uh, uh, yeah, after a little while, right? Yeah. So I'm going to have to fix my bed right now. My leg broke somehow. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, man. <laughs> so it's, I can't even sleep tonight. Oh, man. <laughs> so I got to have to fix it before and then I'll do that. All right. So, um, so yeah. So now uh, the next session, if uh, you can do it early, that's fine. You know, don't come up, you know, like after a month. <laughs> okay. Yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> Uh, maybe I'll uh, I can do something tomorrow. I'll I'll, I'll ask. Let me okay. ask my wife. Yeah. Let me know we, when. So I wanna you know start. We started already. So I wanna finish this topic here. That you know how you can use forty and seven quickly, easily, and then uh, not use the sermon all the time because you're gonna get your SL hit a lot of times. Then it's only for the turn turning points. 
and then right. you wait for the 20 minute into the you know area if you still have the the you know move uh, uh you know remaining move for example if you have this like wave one and two then wave three we know that it goes for 1.618 i just showed you right so if you right. wait this one oh come on man what happened my chart froze now oh no okay here see this If you measure this, you, you, you only suppose, right? Because this, you have this only, uh, these two, uh, like this one and this one. You don't have this one yet, right? So what do you do is that you said, okay, 61% retracement. So what if it is one and two, and then like I'm, a, I'm supposing right now, right? Possible mm -hmm. there, right? So you suppose, you assume that, okay, this, let's say if this is wave one and this is wave two, then we go for wave three. Wave three, according to the theory, should be 1.618. Is it going to go for that? Guess what? See, it touches here. What's the number here? 55.92. No, 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 not this one. Oh. Yeah, the 1618. 1618. Exactly. To the pip, it came and touched for wave three calculation. That's the you know, Elliott wave calculation that wave three usually goes for 1.618. Now going down like this, 40 minute setup, this one reversal candle take, start taking seven minutes, 20 minutes, seven minutes, not 7.7, 20 minutes again, four or five trades here. Then it goes up here again, 40 minute short setup. You know that it is going for this target and it is short and it is bearish. Then you start taking this 20 minute, 20 minute, again, 30, 40, 100, 150, 50, trade. then this one, then this, all of this, all the way down here. And after that, you take a breath. Okay, wave three is finished. <laughs> now we're probably going to go up for wave four. And I predicted that as well. Yeah. I have a chart. I'll show you in the next one. I said, when we were here, I said, we're going to go up there for wave four. And we, we went there. So we have a calculation for that. Wave four usually is 38% of wave three, anywhere like 38 to 50%, right? So if you measure that from here to here, you see that here? It went yeah. up to 50%. And after that, it started to drop for wave five. <coughs> wave five is usually it's like around this area. <coughs> but this one, Get, uh, got a little bit more extended, <coughs> right? And after that, correction starts or a new wave to the upside. Right. So that is the reason. <coughs> no water here? No, okay. So, uh, <laughs> <coughs> so that's the reason I wrote down here. One or A, because I don't know if it is going to go up all the way or it is just a retracement. You understand? So mm -hmm. this could be one or A, and this could be two or B. This will decide if it is a new wave. If it, it goes all the way to 1.618, then it will be wave three followed by wave four and wave five again to the upside. Right. But if this stops here around 78% and 58, 27, and then it start dropping, then you can say, okay, it's confirmed that it is a retracement A, B, C, and we continue to the down, downside. Again, okay. it's going to okay. be a vertical pattern. You understand? Yes. So either Elliot will count, harmonic pattern, this market cannot dodge me. I understand the damn thing. <laughs> okay, so we're going to close here now? Yes. We're going to okay. run to the Home Depot to fix my bed. Otherwise, you right. know, I'm going to have to sleep on a couch. <laughs> <laughs> okay um yeah i'll try to schedule something soon probably by tomorrow like i'll, I'll text you, i'll message you tonight and then uh we can we can set, schedule something for tomorrow if, you, if you're free okay yeah i will i will squeeze the time right because i like to finish the topic uh if not then you know if you leave it you know like that so you forget you forget things. right correct right and uh like i have your permission to uh, make this video public yes. so you know my old 
um, uh, you know, a subscriber, the new, the current, everything, everybody, whoever having problem, I like to them, you know, if they are not with me or not with me, it doesn't matter, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. uh, if they can get some benefit out of it, all right? Okay. So thank you. Yeah, no problem. Permission. And um, yeah, so uh, let me know uh, in my email, right? So if okay, you we'll do. Thanks. All right. Thank you so much. All right, mm -hmm. man. Take care. Take care. You too. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.